Toyota dealers get the feeling Toyota. Singular wireless, what do you have to say? McDonald, Keith Van Horn, Todd McCulloch, Aaron McKee, Alan Iverson, and Eric Snow. And for Coach Larry Brown and his team tonight, first of two straight on the road tomorrow at Washington. Capping off quite a stretch. 12 games, 18 days in all. Five games, seven days this week. Tyrone Hill, the former Sixers, Zadrunas Ilgauskas, and Ricky Davis, Milt Palacio, and the two guard, Dewan Wagner, the rookie out of Memphis, and of course, Camden, New Jersey. In a second season here in Cleveland, John along with Steve Mix, Mark Zumoff tonight. Dewan Wagner, 6'1, 195, 19 years old. The Camden High grad, just his third game of the season. As we bring you the keys tonight, brought to you by Chrysler. Iverson now against Wagner. Looking to take him. Caught him the fight, the block by Ilkowskis, and out of bounds. Stolen by Wagner, runs with Palacio. Wow, what a burst there by Dewan Wagner. Well, he averaged 20 points per game and shot 50% in their summer league out in Salt Lake City. I mean, he, he does have potential. He's still knocking some of that rust off. Wagner on the year, just 27%. Wagner whipped the steal. Now, take a look. He's looking over his shoulder, brings the ball back to his left side, and then goes up nicely with the left hand, keeps the ball away from Aaron McKee, an outstanding defensive player. As soon as that ball went to the left hip, Aaron McKee had to back off a little bit. Do that, and obviously that was one of those times when you don't do it. Sixers turn it over again. Sagana the opposite for the first time. Wagner fouled and root to the hoop. He'll go to the line for one more. Personal foul, Eric Snow. Turnover by the 76ers. Little misreading there by Allen Iverson and Eric Snow led to the turnover and there's the take to the rack by Wagner who scores it John Lucas starting Wagner now at the point guard spot which you know what when he's ready that's his spot so you know what you got to put him out there let the wolves eat him up for a while and see what happens over here to Cleveland Bob and Steve, two of three brothers, the other Jerry. Does he live right here in Cleveland? Yes, he does. Dewan Wagner hits the three, his second of the game. He's got eight. And that's the margin for the Cavaliers with five and change to go here in the first half. Allen Iverson continues to rest. Eric Snow, Buckner, and now Van Horn up strong, but he missed the slam with the left hand. Wagner. Wani now, the first in the game at double figures with 10. Skinner, Coleman, and Buckner, part of a good bench effort for the Sixers, helping them to get back into it. Sixers trailing by nine early. The Sixers' largest lead in this one, just one a couple of times. Buck 50 to go here in the first half. Both teams, by the way, foul-wise, over the limit. Wagner getting his, he's got a dozen. Get the defensive player leaning or reaching, and then all of a sudden you've got the nice easy one. Van Horn with the nice smooth move. Wagner against Snow delivers again. So after a slow start, Dewan Wagner now with 14. He's high man in the game. Now is leading everybody in scoring. But 14 points the shot chart. Got the one over here from beyond the arc. Everything else, very good with the basketball. Getting inside the defense for some easy ones. Wagner leading all scores, as I just mentioned, with 14, as he is 6 for 11. The last time the teams met, Alan Iverson, Todd McCulloch, Eric Snow, most of his points coming early, and Derek Coleman off the bench. The Cavaliers, their leader, Dewan Wagner with 14, Zadrunas Ogalskis with 10. Ricky Davis busy covering Allen Iverson, just three of nine for his eight points. Wagner, tough shot. Lucky to get the call there. It'll be on Eric Snow. His second, team first. 
Wagner putting it on the floor. Take a look. Reaching in. There's Snow reaching in. Then being knocked to the floor. Eric Snow. Personal foul number two. Snow in a dialogue with official Mark Davis. What? Eric curiously with those patented slapaways. Got a couple tonight. He is credited with three blocks in all. That's the worst thing that's happened to a member of the Sixer traveling party here in the third quarter. <laughs> Wagner hits the deep deuce. A defensive three-second violation called against the Sixers. The first call of the night on either team. And Wani, Dewan Wagner. Now with 18 points. And for Wagner, by the way, a season and career high. Plenty more of that to come. Only his third game as Ilkowskis is in for Sagana Jacques Snow. Wagner and Iverson continue to meet one on one. The number of times here in the second half. Dewan winning that encounter. He's got 20 to the line for one more. Pick of a quick move by Wagner. Nice stride gets between the two defensive players and then gets the roll. And completes the three point play. Wagner with 21 to pace the Cavaliers. Wagner's at it again. No help coming from the weak side. Buckner trying to stay with Wagner. He made a little circle move around the screen. Three just past the halfway point of this fourth quarter. Wojowskis gets by Coleman and a foul. But DC playing high side. The ball was entered nicely. No pressure on the on the ball handler on the wing. And Ogaskis just takes it. One step to the rack and throws it down. Sixers holding six. Coleman as the rookie Boozer. Holding a couple of inches. Got it. And Boozer got a piece of the ball as well. But DC determined his fourth field. Sixers by six. Boozer, who's been instrumental in the Cavalier comeback, gets free. Iverson for three. Got it. Tell you what. Heck of a screen by Van Horn to knock Jones on his heels. AI had plenty of time to measure that three ball. Thanks to Van Horn's screen, Sixers up seven. And Allen's got 25 for the Sixers, their sixth three of the night. Parker thinking three. Wagner a healthy three, and he dropped it. Protégé answers his idol with a three of his own. They both have matching 25s. Iverson for three. And a whistle. And we have a timeout. 2.18 to go. First it was Allen hitting the three. But then moments ago, from across the river, a three of his own by Dewan Wagner. Just over two minutes to go. Here are the Cavaliers out of the timeout. Wagner going against Iverson. Ilgowskis as Wagner gets it back. On a rope to Boozer who's been large and he continues to loom so. He's got 15. Sixer lead once as large as 19 shriveling to two. A heck of a substitution by Lucas getting Boozer in the ball game. Spark this team. Iverson. Jones pulls it down. Cavaliers last lead was 52 51 during that Sixer terrific third quarter. Wilkowskis against McCullough. Van Horn reaching in and the foul. Iverson against Wagner for three. Boozer for the Cavaliers who got to hurry. They're down six. Five second difference between the clocks. 
Wagner for three. Got it. DeJuan Wagner with 29. Cavaliers have to foul. And they do, stopping the clock with 15.5 to go as Wagner cutting the Sixers' six-point lead in half. But Parker putting absolutely no pressure on Eric Snow. But Wagner, the crowd hollering for him to shoot the basketball, rises up, knocks it down to pull the Cavs to within three. So for DeWan Wagner, the first night he meets Allen Iverson, both of them drop 29. As Snow makes it a two possession game. Break Buckner for Todd McCullough. Ball handling purposes. Not to mention his defense and the fact that the Cavaliers more than likely will think about a three. Down five. Parker probing, looking for it. Snow the steal, that'll do it. Iverson all the way to the hoop, leaves it. Van Horn from Snow, and that's it. The Sixers will hang on to win a season high six straight. Our Budweiser player of the game, Aaron McKee, scoreless at halftime, dropped a dozen, all 12 of his points in a rip-roaring third quarter for the Sixers, in which they outscored the Cavaliers 37 to 21. The Sixers end the game on an 8 to 3 spurt to win it by 7, 106 to 99. Again, the season-high sixth straight win for the Sixers.